Right, let's talk about nailing the requirements for skilled work experience under the new skilled migrant category. I've got a few tips that might just save you a headache or two. First off, your skilled work experience kicks off the moment you start a job that pays the median wage or higher. It's got to be full time. No part time loopholes here. Full throttle or nothing. Now, if you're thinking you can switch jobs or roles without a hitch, think again. The second your wage dips below the median, your skilled work experience stops counting. This applies even if you just change roles within the same employer. If a change would have required a variation of conditions, that's your signal to double check. Leave counts if it's in line with Section 16 of the Holidays Act 2003. But there are no exemptions if your pay drops below the threshold, not even for something like COVID-19. So keep that pay steady. Next, if you're claiming points for registration, ensure your skilled work experience comes after you've met the requirements for those points. Usually, this means full registration unless stated otherwise. And if you're aiming for points based on your income, your pay must meet the required threshold not just the median wage. Make sure your IRD summary covers every single day of your skilled work experience right up to your application date if needed. Signed employment agreements and job descriptions detailing your hours and pay are essential. No cutting corners there. So keep your wage above the median, ensure your roles and job changes don't interrupt your experience and have your documentation in perfect order. Follow these tips and you'll be well on your way to meeting the skilled work experience requirements for your skilled migrant category application. And that is our tip of the day. Do follow and subscribe to get one step closer to your New Zealand dream. Ka kite hano.